Christchurch has always had a really strong lineage of residential architecture. The existing house that was here was damaged and demolished post-quake. The clients wanted pragmatically a three-bedroom home, two-level, really simple, gable form, quite timeless. Liked the idea of it being a dark black sort of toned house. There's this beautiful big tree next door which throws dappled light across the facade so you get this contrast between the trees, natural dappled light plus these bricks that are creating a similar sort of effective texture. The dormer windows that puncture the north facade was really a continuation of the really sculptural elements that we were trying to add or subtract to the very strong industrial gable form. There's a spine that runs through the house which is created by the stair in the bedrooms. It's on the industrial side and the staircase side. It's all clad seamlessly with hot rolled steel sheet. And on the bedroom side of the spine hallway, the walls are panelled with American oak stained panelling. There's no door hardware on any of the doors, so it's, it's all hidden and very sort of clean. You are greeted at the top of the staircase by this really, really large skylight that's, I guess, subtracted from the, the ridge of the gable, which is such a bright element, it's sort of quite enlivening when you get to the top of the stairs. In terms of positioning windows and views, it was about borrowing the neighbour's landscape without sort of invading on their privacy. The kitchen itself is quite simple. It's formed as two islands, one for cooking, one for entertaining. Then we have a large sort of joinery panelled area which includes the fridge and that sort of thing. It's all hidden away. It's not just an industrial house on the outside and a residential house on the inside. You're seeing that idea of that adaption that we were trying to get across with our, I guess, our design ethos. I feel like if we are sort of downscaling these houses. They need to be more bespoke and more custom to the person. I think there's a real opportunity for architects and designers in Christchurch in New Zealand to continually add and question ideas and build upon what's been in the past and create great cities.